Hi, Rashid Kapadia here with a performance tip on a Friday from a book I've referenced in the past, Good to Great by Jim Collins, a classic business book. Today, I want to talk about an intriguing distinction he makes that I wasn't really aware of and very insightful. It's about discipline. Now, we all know discipline is fundamental to long-term success individually or in teams. But he noticed that there were two types of disciplined teams. One team was disciplined because the leader on the top was charismatic or powerful or even tyrannical. tyrannical. And this team was disciplined, but he noticed that these teams were not as successful as another type of team that was characterized by a culture of discipline. But what's the difference? Uh, the difference is in a team that has got a culture of discipline, the leader is very self-disciplined, but he recruits people also who are self-disciplined, so they don't have to be managed. Discipline does not come from the top or from outside. It is more driven internally. And these companies that had a culture of discipline had a far greater track record of success. And I can't help thinking the same thing goes for any small group. It could be a classroom. It could even be a family. If it's a family or a classroom is disciplined because of one powerful person, it's probably not as optimal as having a culture of discipline where everyone from a sense of discipline does what is expected of them and makes a contribution to the team or to the family. Very insightful. I encourage you to cultivate a culture of discipline. Good luck.